Hello and welcome. <laughs> We're just going to be doing a quick look over of the settings that I use, uh, that Dave and I use when we record our uh, PlayStation and our Switch games, and as well as what audio settings we use. Uh, we don't use this. We don't use the HD60 Pro app to record stuff. We use OBS, but there are a couple settings in here that I think you like could go through. I don't know that it makes much of a difference. Uh, anyway, quick, the Nintendo Switch settings. Uh, the, this is the only important thing here for the most part is the expanded HDMI color range. Um, you do have to change some settings on your Nintendo Switch so that this expanded actually works correctly. So go look up, I don't know, YouTube, just Google it. You'll find a bunch of videos and just helpful guides on how to switch those settings. It's not difficult at all. Uh, for PlayStation 4, we usually just, and I, again, I do come in here. I, I, I don't think it matters unless you're clicking like iPad or iPad touch, iPhone touch, iPhone, iPod touch. Wow, read much? Anyway, we do come in here and I'll click on PlayStation 4 if we're recording uh, anything on there. And actually on PS3, we use the PlayStation 4 too. Yeah. These are the settings we use. I don't remember how much they differ from the default settings, but Try these out, see if they work if you're having any trouble. None of this has changed, I don't think. No, not much there. Anyway, this is not that important. The HD60 Pro app, what we use to record is OBS Studio. I'm sure a lot of people do. Uh, you can see down here, we have the ratchet and clank in our Pokemon settings. Uh, let's check it out up in settings. So general, pretty much not going to be useful here for at least recording terms. You want to go to, let's see, output I believe is helpful. You want to check out recording because that's what most of us are doing. And a lot of us are streaming, but we haven't used this for streaming yet. Anyway, it's just where you're exporting. We use MP4 because it goes into Adobe Premiere Pro, Pro which is what I use to record. How many audio tracks? We just have one for game audio, one for each of our mics, and then an extra that has everything in case something goes wrong. Uh, this is our encoder. Again, I... It was a long time ago that I checked these settings out. I watched a bunch of videos, read a bunch of guides, and this is what I settled on, and we've been using it for months now, and it's been great. So if you're having trouble, try these settings. Obviously, write down yours or take a screenshot, see, so in case something goes wrong, you can go back to that. But these have been great. We've had no problems since we've been using these settings. Uh, here you go, rate control, yeah, rate control, bit rate. <laughs> um, profile high, you know, go for these. See if they work, see if they help you out. For audio... Uh, the main thing is uh, this right here, the sample rate. We have it 48, and it's also matched in 48 down in here. You want to go into your microphone settings. Again, we're using, not again, I don't think I said it. We're using USB microphones for now. So you want to go into your Windows settings or, you know, whatever you're using. Uh, let's see, is it this? No, it's this, device properties, because there's the microphone, right? The one that I'm curr currently using, talking into now. Additional device properties, advanced and this is what you want for, I mean, pretty much the best quality. But it's important that whatever you have selected here matches what you have here. Otherwise, you can have some audio issues. Stuff won't turn out too well. Uh, moving on to video. Ooh, I remember there were, maybe there were more than this. More options than this, but guess not. Anyway, uh, the base canvas resolution, I believe, is just your, your screen, your monitor's resolution. Uh, I don't think that's too important. More important is the output resolution. Set it to whatever your whatever game you're recording, whatever the resolution is of the game that you're recording. That's what you want. Uh, again, don't remember what this is because it's been a while since I made these settings. And for FPS, at least you want whatever the FPS of your game is. Uh, we do a lot of Ratchet and Clank, and Ratchet and Clank is typically in 60 FPS. So, boom, hit that there. Again, I don't remember why, but this is the, these are the settings that have been working for us. So try them out. Write down your own settings first. Try these out. Hopefully they help. Hockey's, that doesn't really matter much. And here's just some advanced stuff. I don't think any of these matter too much. This is just all, this is all extra stuff. This is not necessarily your video and audio stuff. Um, this maybe is important right here. Yeah, obviously the video thing. So try out some of these settings if you have having trouble. Anyway, that's about it. If I missed anything or are there any questions or whatever, leave a comment. I will absolutely respond as fast as I can. And uh, I hope this was helpful. All right. Bye-bye.